So now that you guys have the smartphone module installed in the vehicle, we're going to go ahead and set the app up. So once you have the app downloaded on the home screen, you're going to have a login and a register button. If you do not have an account already, go ahead and click register. And then from that point, you're going to have this screen where you type in your email, your first last name, phone number, and then click register. Once you guys get into your email box, you're going to click on the email that was sent to you. You're going to click on the set password link, and then you'll be prompted to enter your new password twice. This will be the password that you guys use for the account. So then you're going to hit set password, and it's going to give you acknowledgement that your account is activated, and you can get out of that, and you're going to go back into the app. It's going to prompt you to log in, so just go ahead and enter the email address that you used to sign up and then enter the password that you just changed over. Once you log in, it's gonna ask you if you want it to remember your password. Uh, you can use a pin or fingerprint now. That was a recent update. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click yes. And then I'm gonna enter my pin. You click add vehicle. It shows you right here where the serial number is on the label. So we're gonna go ahead and enter that number now. And then you're gonna go ahead and hit submit code. You're gonna see that it has my car, release vehicle, go ahead and hit this right now. So now you released it from test mode. And now what you're gonna to wanna to do is re-enter your serial number one more time and submit it. Once you guys submit the code for the second time, we are now locked in and ready to use uh, the app. So what you're gonna do is go to my car and once you click on that, it's gonna prompt you to set your protocol. This depends on what system that you have in your vehicle. This is covered in the installation process. Uh, if you do not know which one to set this to, don't guess because if it's on the wrong one, it will not work. Go back to the installation video for your application and select uh, which one you need to go to. If you accidentally select the wrong protocol, press and hold for 10 seconds on the word to the right of the blue arrow, and then the wheel will pop up and you guys can make a selection again. The current vehicle we're working on is going to be an ADS protocol, so click that, confirm. You can change the vehicle name by hitting the little edit there. So we're going to type in Subaru. We're not going to use any auxiliary functions and then you're going to go here to the selection for the year so we got a 17 it's going to be a subaru it's going to be a cross track and i cannot remember which trim it is so we're just going to go ahead and select this and come down here and select the different colors too click confirm and now we are ready to go. So come back out of the app. You're going to go back one more. Accept the agreement if it pops up. You're going to hit the little arrow here. You're going to hit the house. And then right here where it says retailer's phone number, you're going to go 888-880-8838. Confirm. Ask you if you want to confirm that. Hit OK. And then... Our logo pops up, our address, our hours, phone number, email, Facebook page, and website all pop up right here so you guys can get a hold of us super easy. Once you guys have the app all set up, give it about five minutes after you set protocol. Um, these will probably be gray for those five minutes, but once they come on green, that means that we are locked onto the network. You can see battery voltage here on the far right and then the little green car icon with the little like Wi-Fi symbols above it is your satellite signal to the network. Uh, I'm not going to go over too much of this right now but this is the conclusion of our app setup. To see how all this stuff works check the demo video uh, in the other link.